Hello Year One and welcome to Wednesday's Literacy Lesson. Now today we are going to change another part of Oliver Jeffers' story. So on Monday we changed the character. Yesterday we changed how that character went from the sea all the way back home again. And today we're going to change, we're going to adapt an object in the next part of the story. So let me share my screen and I will show you exactly what we are up to today. So today is Wednesday, the 10th of February, 2021, and we're still looking at the middle part of the story, but we're getting closer to the end. So how do brilliant writers adapt the middle part of the story? Now we're going to start off with some spotlight spellings. We've looked at them all week, and today I'm going to hide some, and you've got to guess which ones I've hidden. Then I'm going to read you the next part of our story and you are going to adapt an object for me today. So you're going to see what I've changed and then you get to use your imagination to change the object as well. And then we're going to write that part of the story. And again, today I'm only asking for three sentences. So let's make them super brilliant. So let's just check what we need. We are going to need your pencils, your notebook or exercise book and some paper and your imaginations to adapt another part of the story today. And if you could find your whiteboard and your whiteboard um, pens for me, then we are going to use them for a warm up. And remember, when we're brilliant writers, we are always trying to sit up at a table if we can. So if you need to pause the video to go and get anything that you need for the lesson and to make sure that you're sat at a table and in a chair, pause the video and come back when you're ready. OK, let's get started, because here's our spotlight and we've been looking at these words all week. So we're going to be super speedy on them. Every time a word appears, you are going to read it today without me. So it's no my turn, my voice is turned off. You're going to have a go at shouting it out all by yourself. Are you ready? Let's see how speedy we can be. Good job. And remember, we've got the A split sound. Next one. Poo at the zoo, well done. Petrol. And that's the thing that the uh, engine ran out of so the plane splattered onto the moon. Next one. And remember, it's got our split O, phone home. Keep going. Martian, it's got our capital letter because it is a name. Did you stick your tongue out? Let's do it again. Thanked. Good stuff, well done. Next one. And it's still got our A split sound. Next one. Earth, and it's got a capital letter because it's the name of our planet. And here comes our last one. Cupboard, and that's our compound word. Okay, year one, take a good look at those nine spotlight spellings because in a moment I'm taking one away, I'm hiding one. And what you've got to do is you've got to see if you can write down the word that I have taken away. So have a good little look. There's nine there, and I'm about to take away one in five, four, three, two, one. It's gone. Can you write that missing word on your whiteboard for me? Think about how it sounds, if there's any special friends there, and use your neatest handwriting. Write it down for me. Okay, get ready to show me in three, two, one. If you wrote the word moon, you are absolutely right. Moon is the word that I took away. Mm, ooh, mm, as in poo at the zoo. And remember, if you did your best handwriting, you would have gone down Maisie, mountain, mountain, and down Nobby and over his net. So did you do your best handwriting as well? Good job. Okay, have a sneaky other look because we're gonna play this game one more time. I'm gonna see if I can take away another word and you've got to write that word down on your whiteboard. Are you ready? Have a good look. 
the word is going to disappear in three, two, one. It's gone. Can you write that word on your whiteboard for me? Now, this word's got a split sound, so be careful. And it's also got an ascender, a nice tall letter. Okay. Get ready to show me in three, two, one. Show me your boards. If you wrote the word home, you are absolutely right. It is O split sound with our M. Mm. So you should have remembered our split plus our tall ascender. So your should be taller than any of your other letters. Great job, year one, if you found my two missing spotlight spellings. Brilliant. Now, you can wipe your whiteboard clean and you can put it to one side because we are going to look at the next part of the story now. So we're going to be having a look at when we're getting closer to the end of our story and your new character and the Martian fix their machines. So have a little listen because I'm going to read you the next part and spot what I have changed and adapted today. Let's go. By the time he got there, the dog was tired out. So he sat in his favourite chair just to catch his breath. His favourite programme was just starting and he settled down to watch. <gasps> Suddenly he remembered what he should be doing and rushed off to the cupboard to get what he needed. He ran outside and shouted but there was no reply. He couldn't be heard. The boy, or is it the boy? The dog climbed to the higher ground, called again and waited. This time, a ladder was lowered. Can you see what I've changed in the story today? The dog began to climb and the Martian began to pull and soon the dog was back on the moon. So have a look what I've changed today. I haven't used a rope this time. I've changed the rope to a ladder. So let's have a look at those three sentences from this part of the story. I'm going to write one sentence about how my character sat and watched television. I'm going to write another sentence about how my character climbed the high mountain to get back close to the moon. And then look what I changed. Today, my character is going to climb the ladder. So the Martian didn't throw down a rope he threw down a ladder. And that's the object you're going to change today. Are you going to use the same object as me and have a ladder? Or are you going to use something else? Is the Martian going to have some string in his bag? A skipping rope in his bag? Is he gonna use a ladder like me? Or is he going to find something else to help pull the new character back up to the moon. So here we go. This is where you've got to use your imagination. On your whiteboards, once again, you are going to draw your next three pictures. One picture is your character watching TV and having a rest. Your next picture is your new character climbing the mountain. And your last picture is where your new character finds a new object to climb. So what is the Martian going to lower for your new character to climb up on? Have a little think, pause the video here and create your three pictures. Off you go. Brilliant job year one. So hopefully now you have thought of something that the Martian is going to throw down for your new character to climb up on. So I've got my sentence to write about my character watching television. 
about him climbing up the mountain and about him using the ladder to get back up to the moon. So let's have a little look because as always this week, you can challenge yourself as much as you feel you can. If you're going to write in a simple sentence for each picture, all you've got to remember is your capital letters and your full stops, just like this. The dog watched a show. Oh, the show's on the television. That's nice and easy to spell. Shh, oh, blow the snow. And can you see again how I've used my suffix ed? Because he's already done it. The dog watched a show. So you could make it a nice simple sentence for all three pictures. Or you could use your adjectives. The tired dog watched his favourite show. And if you have a little look at the words in purple, you know I've added my adjectives. And if you're going to show me more, 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 you're going to use the word and to extend your sentence. The tired dog sat in a comfy chair and he watched a show. So I've used adjectives and my conjunction there. The tired dog sat in a chair, and I've even described the chair as comfy, and he watched a show. So today, year one, think about how you can challenge yourself. Are you going to write your three sentences using the green challenge and just focusing on making your sentence with your capital letters and full stops? Are you going to go for the yellow challenge where you're going to add your adjectives in? And are you going to go for the red challenge where you're going to extend your sentences and put some adjectives in as well? So three sentences today about your character watching their show, climbing up the mountain and changing what the Martian throws down. So if you're going to do the green challenge, pause the video here and use this word bank. You've got the words watched, show, climbed, hill and moon to help you. If you're going to go on to the yellow challenge, I've given you some adjectives like favourite and steep, a steep hill that he might have climbed. So you can pause the video here if you're going to add some of those adjectives in. And just like we've been doing this week, if we're going for that red challenge, remember using and means that our sentence is getting bigger. You're giving more information. So here you can talk about your character being sat in the chair and tell me what he watched. You can tell me that your character climbed the hill and he shouted to the Martian. And then you can tell me in your final sentence, what got lowered and how he got back to the moon. So if you're going to do the red challenge and use and and add some adjective, adjectives, pause it here so you've got our screen to help you. Brilliant job year one. Again, you have written three amazing sentences. And remember, we're being authors this week. We've stolen the story from Oliver Jeffers and we're changing it. And tomorrow we've only got the ending to do. So we're going to change one more object tomorrow. But as always, before we go, let's just check and celebrate some of our work that we've already written. And today I want you to check your ED, your suffix at the end, because sometimes when we sound it out, the ED might sound like a t like watched if we're not careful. So let's just check that we didn't put a sneaky t on the end and we definitely used our ed. If you wrote the word watched, can you check for me that you added ed on the end and you didn't put a cheeky t? You might have used the word climbed. So you've got to have the root word climb and then add your ed. Check that if you use that word today. D 
did you add an ed if you had the word shouted? Sometimes shouted. It sounds like a t at the end. Remember, it's an ed. So check that word as well. Watched, climbed, shouted. And the last ed you might have written was pulled. When whatever object you created to come down, the Martian might have pulled your new character back up. So did you add an ed on the end for pulled? So just double check that suffix that we practiced weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And well done, year one. We have finished our lesson for today. So you have now adapted the beginning and the middle part of the story. So you might have guessed it. Tomorrow is going to be our last literacy lesson of the week, even though it's Thursday. And we are going to do the ending of our story. So we're going to write three sentences for the end of our story. And we're going to adapt one more thing. We're going to change another object. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. You have been brilliant this week. So let's not give up and make sure we finish off our story just as brilliantly as we started it. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.